Hello everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I don't know why that's so hard for me to remember to say, but I'm trying to get better. So welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, this is Cat G Design. I am Cat G. Um, Cat G is a paper craft, jewelry, and magazine bookmark company. Um, that is how I divide my creative time. I love unique jewelry. I love paper um, of all sorts. And um, I enjoy recycling different types of paper. Um, and then also I'm a huge book person. I love books. I always have. Um, I started reading at a very young age. Um, my favorite thing to do was to go to the library. Um, and it's continued to this day, although I did read a lot more when I was younger. You know, that whole adulting thing just gets in the way. Ugh. Anyways, so I pass on my love of reading and books um, by crafting bookmarks made from um, magazines, mostly fashion magazines, where I'll find a um, fashion editorial, a whole ad campaign, and there will be a... Um, color scheme throughout the whole thing or a some other kind of theme where I can take s little vignettes of that fashion spread um, and create a bookmark set. Um, so that's something that I sell in my shop, my Etsy shop, are bookmark sets where you get three of them um, and they all follow a similar color scheme story, if you will. Um, and then I'm also just throwing together some bookmarks, um, a little more plain Jane, just with decorative paper on black cardstock. Um, I'm making a bunch of those, and I will show you, because I have some right here. Um, my first craft show is coming up at the end of the month, so I'm scrambling to create, create, create. Um, so these are the kind of the... I don't want to say plain Jane because they're not plain Jane, but they're just kind of simple. Got the logo sticker on the back. And yes, I'm using my old logo stickers um, because I have them and I kind of want to use them up. I don't want to waste them. And they're still super cute. Um, so these have the old logo on them. Um, so I just wanted to kind of have more of an offering for my craft show. Um, and these are super cute. They're going to be cheap. Um, I'm not sure what, to, you know, maybe $2. We'll see. I just want to have a bunch of those available. People can pick up on the fly. Um, so compared to my, quote, normal magazine bookmark, looks something like this, where it's a section cut out of a magazine. So if you can see, there's some shrimp. And I think we got the zoodles going on. Yeah, zoodles and shrimp. And if you're not familiar with zoodles, uh, zucchini noodles, if you will. You use a spiralizer, it's actually pretty cool and they're pretty yummy if you season them correctly. So anyway, um, this is the normal bookmark. It's got the protective plastic sleeve and it's got the satin ribbons on the top. And these are the current, sorry, washing out here. Uh, those are the current logo stickers, the more up to date, if you will. So, those are the two types that are available. <laughs> and this part of the singles collection, um, as you can see, there's only one. I have sets that look like, let's see, let me get a good one. A set is like this, where you get three of them. They're held together with little car carabiner clips, little plastic carabiner clips logos in the back and you get three of them um, and three I think is a good number because I generally have three books going at once I need three bookmarks and I know that I'm not alone in this and it's actually a really common um, thing for book lovers to do so I make no apologies and I sell them in threes so that's that okay so we jumped into the jewelry um, I have a couple of Real quick, I'll show you these really cool ones that I'm just waiting to cure, if I can show you. Um, some of you might remember that paper that I've used before. 
They're double-sided. Recognize that paper, that blue with that fiery orange. Kind of kind of looks like um, lava, like lava on a lake maybe. So those I'm just letting them cure. And then I'm gonna finish them, they'll be earrings. I've got these cool little doodads that I created with some of the old flower shapes in my Sizzix machine. So that's like a swirly, flowery paper, purple, uh, light, light and dark purple, double-sided. I got those curing. And this is also an older paper that I've used before. Um, it's like the, it's like the, I know it's kind of washing out. You can't really see it that well. It's almost like a, not really camouflage, but kind of along the same lines as camouflage. Um, that same kind of color pattern, but it's not camouflage. So those are curing. Um, I've in, I think maybe if I can do just as much as I have currently the amount of earrings that are available to sell. Um, I think I want to do a bunch more. I want to have a bunch available and I've got to buy another earring holder from Amazon. Um, but yeah, that's studio work. So books, um, I am really bummed that book club was, was canceled tonight. Um, usually it's the second Monday of each month. It was canceled. Um, the author that we were going to Skype with, uh, had to reschedule. So that was kind of a bum, but I got to, of course, um, look for new books and I did pick up next month, next month's book for book club, which is this one right here. And it looks pretty interesting. Kate Raculia, Bellwether Rhapsody. And it takes place, well, at the Grand Old Bellwether Hotel. But it's got, it kind of makes nods to Ag Agatha Christie. It's like a murder mystery. Um, so this looks really interesting. And I can't wait to dive into that one. So that is um, this month's book club book, Bellwether Rhapsody by Kate Raculia. Um, what I've been pleasure reading, not that that won't be a pleasure, but pleasure reading um, for my own library. I picked up this and I picked up this at our um, library book sale last summer, Shadow of the Wind, Carlos Ruiz, Solon Zephon. And I love books about books. I know I'm not alone in this either. Um, I just, I, I know it sounds weird, but I love books about books. Um, last year I read uh, The Library Book by Susan Orlean. That was a great book. It was about the Los Angeles Public Library and the history of amazing. It was so good. And it was all about books. I love books about books. I know that's super nerdy, but I make no apologies, and I know you're out there. So if you if you're feeling the same way, then uh, you should say, "Hey, we gotta stick together," you know. So this one, um, Barcelona, 1945, post uh, World War II, of course, and this main character stumbles onto this book called *The Shadow of the Wind*. And he goes to find other the author's other works, and he figures out that someone has been systematically destroying all of the author's other works. And uh, the last line says, an epic story of murder, madness, and doomed love. It's so good so far. Um, I haven't read a lot of it, like that much, but... It's really good, and it's it's about reading and books, and I'm just really enjoying that one. So that's my pleasure read. Um, and one more pleasure read I did pick up. I always check the young adult section. Um, I love young adults. It's a great escape. Um, I love the storylines. Uh, there's so many interesting concepts, especially along the paranormal fantasy young adult realm um, and that whole genre. Uh, so many good ones. So many good ones. So I am giving Victoria Aveyard's Red Queen a chance. 
This is one that I have probably picked up. Um, you know, you pick it up and you read the inside thing. Um, I've probably done that probably five times at least by now. And today it just, it spoke to me. It said, you know what? You need to give me a try. So this is my young adult for the week, we'll say. And um, it's, the no it's a series. It's number one. Um, if you've read it, let me know. Let me know your thoughts on this one. Um, it looks good. I haven't started it, so I'll have to let you know. But if you've read this and you really loved it, or if you really hated it, let me know. Leave a comment. Find me on social. Um, so yeah, these three are what I'm reading at the moment. Um, I'm, I ordered new uh, business cards which I will show you when they come in. They should be here very soon, either tomorrow or the next day. Um, I'm excited about those. I'm excited that I'll have nice, fresh business cards for my craft show. Um, I have to get a few more things for the craft show. Uh, I need to get some supplies, but I got some time, so I'll be able to get it done. Um, yeah, and I'm excited craft show season is kicking off. I was thinking last night could I do a show a month? It is possible, but do I want to do a show a month? That's a lot. I mean, we already in March, so it wouldn't be a, you know, obviously a full year, but, um, and you got to figure like, well, no, November, December are busy because of the holiday season. So that's still, you know, nine crap shows. Do I want to do nine crap shows? I don't know. I did three last year. Um, and I was, I was ready for a break after three, so I don't think I can do that. We'll see. You know, we'll see. Maybe I'll skip April, maybe every other month. I could do every other month. Um, but it is craft shows. Um, I do want to get into that scene more and more. Um, I know it's a great way to build up your audience and your fan base, um, and to connect and to network. And, um, I'm excited. I think it'll be an interesting, interesting rest of 2020. Um, lots going on, lots going on. So I think that's it for now. Thank you for hanging out with me. Um, I hope if we're not connected on social, you seek me out, um, at Cat G Design for Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Um, I do, and I'll leave the links below. I do have a Facebook page too. Um, you can find it Cat G Design. Uh, what else? My own website, catgdesign.com. I have an Etsy store, uh, etsy.com slash shop slash catgdesign. Or you can just search catgdesign. You'll find me. Um, and then I also, I have a Poshmark store too as well, which I haven't had good luck on selling jewelry on. Um, it's just not, Poshmark just isn't a, a market for handmade goods, but I am constantly searching Poshmark. I find so much cool shit on there and I am playing around with reselling um, clothes. If I come upon a really good item, I throw it up on Poshmark, um, see if anyone wants it. So that's been kind of fun. Um, I am interested in reselling. It is something that I've always kind of flirted with, but I never really put a lot of time and effort into it. Um, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, but yeah, that's it for now, and I will see you next week. Like I said, I hope we connect on social, and also I hope um, if you're interested, please sign up for my email newsletter. Um, I'll leave a link for that down below. Also, Wednesdays is my usual newsletter um, day. Uh, if I have a contest going on, you might get one extra one, but I'm not going to fill up your inbox. I'm not going to send you crazy sales funnels because those are annoying. So um, you'll hear from me once in a while, and then I hope you always come around for a Monday's Catch Up With Cat. Uh, have a great night, and uh, stay healthy, wash your hands, and I'll see you next week.